So we're going to go ahead and go over homework 11 and then the rest of the class period you can do your midterm. First ones they're talking about the discrete probability of a distribution. What they want you to know is if I have a distribution, the total probability always has to equal 1 because it's 100%. So what they want you to do is fill in two possible answers that you could put in for these values so that everything would add up to 1. So first thing you're going to do is just go ahead and take 1 and subtract off the ones that you know. So we know that 1 is 0.16, 1 is 0.11, and the other one is 0 0.20. If you take one and subtract those three that we already know, that's going to tell you how much we have left to divide up between our two other numbers. So if you took 1 and you minus the 0.16, minus the 0.11, and minus the 0.20, what did you get? 0.53, right? Now, it doesn't matter which combination you do to add up to 0.53, you just have to pick two values that would add up to 0.53. So just give me a number to put in there for 1. What? Maybe we want it to be 0.3. If this one is 0.3, what would this one have to be? It has to add up to this. Oh, um, 0.13. Try that again. <laughs> 0.23, right? So you can put in any pair of numbers as long as they add up to this so that all five of your values should always add up to one, a hundred percent of your information. Okay? Oh, just do second function in mode to get back to your home screen. You need to clear. Second home gets you back onto the regular screen to tape on. All right. So number two, same kind of thing. They just want you to realize that all five of these numbers here have to add up to one. So we're going to first start off by taking one and subtracting off the ones we know. 0 0.16, 0 0.24, and 0 0.22. How much do we have left for our other two? 0 0.38. So now we're going to pick any two numbers that add up to 0.38. Pick one for the first one. Point 0.21, okay. <laughs> if that one's 0.21, what would this one down here have to be in order to add up to the 0.38? 0.17, right? The 0.21 plus the 0.17 add up to 0.38. If you added all five of them, they should add up to one. So it doesn't matter which pair you use, as long as they add up to what we have left here. So number three, same kind of thing. I know that in my table, all of my numbers should add up to one. I'm going to take one and subtract the ones I already know. And that's going to tell me how much I have left to divide up between the other two. Point 0.42. And so if I have point 0.42 and I need to distribute that to those two values there, which two numbers might I possibly use? <laughs> 0 .20. 0 .20 and 0 .22 would be good choices. Any two that add up to that number, doesn't matter what two you use. Okay? 